What's going on guys and welcome back to another Honda video. So in this video uh, I'm going to show you guys just a little bit of the, the tuning process that I'm using with Chrome and now that I'm on Chrome Gold we have like some more features and stuff. So I will try to show you guys exactly what I'm doing here and I'm going to try to get you guys a recording on my computer. So right now I'm on the computer and I am I have my map up right here and we can see that this is everything I have for the ECU to run off of um, So one thing I do want to find is some sort of data logging for uh, Chrome because Chrome Gold the data logging is not working for me So that's kind of a pain, but otherwise I'm just kind of tuning using the wideband and uh, The boost gauge over here just looking at everything So I actually went to Chrome Gold. So now we have all these options here uh, and I have things like rev limits and I've got you know, I can set rev limiter, standstill, which is the launch control, and then down here we can select the standstill boost generator right here. So this is actually uh, what's going to do your two-step, and we can do the pops and bangs with chrome gold. So I was pretty stoked. So I kind of have that set up a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty stoked about that. I'll show you guys that after I get the car warmed up, but I'm going to go for a little drive right now. Um, and I can show you guys that I have, let's see, fuel corrections, and then the cranking fuel trim. I think I might bring this back down to like 15 and we'll write that to the ECU and then I'm going to try to start. I've been working on startup here. I'm trying to get it dialed in. Oh, that was pretty good. But now after startup it kind of sounds like it wants to die. It's very lean. Plus startup. We'll post startup back to zero. See if it starts to uh, help us out. <clears throat> Alright, so it seems like the car is running a little funky on startup. I'm going to have to work on these uh, fuel corrections here. But uh, yeah, we got cranking fuel trim at 10. We'll leave post startup to zero now and we'll see what that does for us. But uh, yeah, so we'll go back to our tables and uh, I'm going to go ahead and take you guys for a drive. And I might do some touching up on the tune here and there. I'm going to wait for it to warm up. But i got to go grab something from Home Depot. So I'm going to head out. Alright, so the car is just about warmed up now. Uh, the tune's going to start to be, you know, where we're supposed to be. And uh, we're not going to be running off of any uh, sensors, like the coolant sensor and stuff like that. Because all that stuff... Uh, can affect the tune, you know what I mean? Like the temperature of the coolant, it wants to make sure the car's at OT before it gives you the uh, the fueling off your table, so it's gonna run off of other things. So, yeah, we're doing good now. Um, the tune is good for the most part. There's still some areas that I wanna touch up. Um, it's a little bit lean right there, 2,500. A little under 20 inches of vacuum or a little more rather so we'll go over here in the tune and we've got uh, 21 inches of vacuum right here and uh, we're gonna take this little section and everything below it right around 2500 so right around here and right to here and we'll go up to three and we'll go over here and what we're gonna do at 5%. So we're going to hit A, 5, OK. And then we're going to write that to the ECU because the auto write feature in Chrome Gold is broken as well. So now we're at 2000. We'll crank it up here, 2500, right around here. And we're looking like we're a little bit better. I think we're still kind of lean in this area. smooth it too, you know, just got to make sure everything gets smoothed out. This whole section right here that I just worked on, you can smooth this, and that'll make it blend better, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to tune the car so we get a little bit better mileage and stuff like that, then uh, but it's tough to get good mileage when, you know, you're doing that, and that makes my air fuels go super rich is good but at the same time you know <laughs> I just 
detailed the engine bay, so I smell all the wax burning off. I got wax on everything. I still have some work to do down low, but uh, we'll see what we can get out of uh, some poles here in a sec. that I could make to the rev limit and the boost generator at standstill. So right now we have 30 degrees of ignition timing and 35 microseconds of fuel enrichment. And uh, I'll let you guys listen to what the two-step sounds like. And uh, let's see how much boost we actually build here on the two-step. So it takes a little bit, but it does get to almost five pounds. So it looks like we do build a good amount of boost. Um, I gotta see what it sounds like from the back because uh, I think it sounds pretty sweet. So I'll take you guys around back. All right, so we're gonna see if we can get uh, it to shoot flames or not. Right now it sounds like it's gonna stall, but <laughs> we'll see if it shoots flames. Oh man, it's having a tough time. But, uh, you know, 
it is what it is. I guess it uh, probably sounds pretty cool. I don't know. What do you think, Jake? How's it sound? It sounds pretty good. All right, hell yeah. Yeah, guys, so other than that little ride there and the quick update with the uh, two-step, and now that I'm on chrome gold, we got a little bit more of, uh, you know, a few more features that we can mess with. I did get this rear door finished, so now I have all four doors done and primed. Um, so these just have to be block sanded. Got to make sure they're flat. If they're not, we'll end up putting more primer. I, I probably will prime them again just because I got to do the rest of the doors. But I didn't want to take all the trim off just yet. Um, I'll do that at a later date. So I think I'm going to probably move on to the quarter panels, which this one has a little bit of rust bubbling right here. It's not really too much in the back, so might just be able to grind it from both sides and uh, get rid of the rust. If not, we'll put a piece in, show you guys how to do that. Uh, we got a little... A little rust here too but nothing bad this is actually bubbling it looks like like a high spot too or something so we'll have to figure that situation out but uh yeah all in all it's coming along um i did get this side back together this window was giving me a pain uh like it was being a huge pain in my butt so what i ended up doing was uh, i put a new regulator in it like i wanted to and it was still slow so then I was racking my brain and I, I realized that it was like hanging up in the track and uh, so what I ended up doing was I took some white lift grease on an acid brush and I wiped it in the whole track but I first like kind of cleaned it out I read it on Honda Tech to clean out the track with q-tips so I did that um, that didn't help too much and then I tried to lubricate it with silicone spray it didn't really work so then I put the white lift grease in there and try not to get any on the window or anywhere where it would get on the window and I didn't really the windows pretty clean there's a couple spots here and there but I don't care as long as the window works and it does now it goes up and down so you know we're good on that so thankfully I was able to put that back together um, the one thing I haven't put back together yet is this rear door um, I did paint inside of here like I was talking about earlier so we can get uh, you know coverage and no rust in here so yeah this door panel will be going back on soon enough and we can start working on this quarter and uh, you know stuff like that. I got a few dents here that I ended up marking out. But yeah, I think that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, few pulls, a little interaction with an Integra down there. Uh, that was pretty fun. Look forward to more soon. I know it's uh, just all paint work right now, but uh, I do have some other ideas for the car. And I wanna show you the spoiler that I got, but it actually came broken, so maybe fixing that if i end up getting a refund and get to keep it i'll probably just fix it if not then i'll have to get another one but it is what it is i'll show you guys that in the next video but once again peace out guys thanks for watching